It was embarrassing, humiliating. Those are the feelings of a woman who walked the streets of Portland without a home for 24 years. The fences, there were stairs and we'd set over there. Barbara Crockett became homeless after she split up with her husband in 1990 with no place to go. Like many in her situation, alcohol was what she turned to. Most of the time all day, drinking. She drank a lot, panhandled, held a sign at medians, anything she could do to survive until the streets and a boyfriend turned on her. The relationship he had set me on fire. And I spent seven days in ICU. Then I, I said, I gotta get off these streets or I'm, I'm gonna end up committing suicide. She did what many homeless people do and turned to the Oxford Street Shelter for help. Hey Angie. Hi. How are you? Barbara's story is a common one here. Director of the shelter, Rob Parrott, sees a lot of substance abuse problems. Three West Three. As well as the varied mental health issues that plague the homeless population. Fill in the beds the way they come in. The number of people checking into the shelter reached an all-time high in mid-February, with the line out the door, wrapped around the corner, and down the street. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody from all the surrounding communities who could possibly come in, someone who might have been sleeping in their car or camping out, Everybody's here. Last night we had 292 folks checking in their shelter, which is an all-time high. To try to lower that number, the Oxford Street Shelter has decided to target what it calls the chronic homeless, meaning anyone who has been homeless for 365 days consecutively or gone without shelter four times or more in a three-year period. What's your last name, buddy? In order to lower those numbers, housing counselor Meredith Pesch works the phones for hours a day hunting down resources, efforts that have worked immensely. We had clients who had been staying in here for almost 4,000 days continually and now we are about to move our last person into housing this week that has over 2,000 bed nights here. Included on that list just right for me is Barbara Crockett. I'm glad I got for the queen. With the help of Oxford Street she was approved for a Shelter Plus care voucher through the Shalom House in Portland. Her favorite thing to do in her new apartment is keep it tidy. Her hardwood floors benefit from that more than anything else. Yeah, that's probably what I do three times a day. I thank God every morning. And I'm happy and I have something to be grateful and to look forward to. Food box for you. Going from 24 years doing? on the streets to living on her own is a huge lifestyle change for Barbara. Shredded wheats, pasta stuff. Moxford Street understands that, which is why it makes sure to check on the folks it's helped find housing. <laughs> bringing food boxes to help with groceries. Very, that's not bad. And making sure the transition from homeless to four walls of their own goes as smooth as possible. I think our trips to your house, Barbara, are oftentimes the highlight of our week, so. <laughs> when someone is gets a key to their apartment and is no longer in the shelter, that's mission accomplished, you know, that is, that's a concrete thing that you've done and it's, it's brilliant. You know, my sister gave me them. After almost a quarter of a century of living on the streets, Barbara feels extremely grateful to have a key to her own place. It's a gift from God. Hoping others who frequent the shelters each night are able to do the same. Yeah, nice because one. everyone deserves to have a place to call home. It's a sign of freedom. In Portland, Rob Nesbitt. It's a dream. News Center. It's wonderful. Wonderful. Somewhere I can sleep and...